Within the Power Query Editor, we have so many options that we can use to clean and transform the data before we load it into Power BI. So here, I'm going to inspect the quality of the data by looking at each of the columns. And when we identify any data cleaning issues, we are going to resolve them before we load it into Power BI. So first, I'm going to take a look at the name of the table. So here we have financials and we also have it here under properties. So if I want to change the name of this table or query, I have the option to change it from here. So here, what I'm going to do is to just capitalize the F or you can choose to give it your own name. Now, what I'm going to do is to take a look at each of the columns that we have. So here we have the segment column. Now, when I click on the drop down, you see that we have five segments that the company sells in. So we have channel partners, we have enterprise, we have government, we have mid market and small business. Now this is formatted as a text. So when you click on the data type, you see that this is formatted as a text, which is correct. Then the next column is the country column. So when you click on the drop down, you see that we also have five countries here. Now this is also formatted as a text. Then we have product column. So when you click on the data type, this is also formatted as a text. And when you click on the drop down, you see that we also have six products here. Then we have discount band. So the company offers discounts. So they have different discount bands that they offer. Now, when you click on the drop down, you see that we have high, we have low, we have medium, and then none. Now, this is also formatted as a text. Then we have unit sold. So this has to do with the quantity of the product that was sold. So if you take a look at this, this is formatted as a decimal. Now, when you click on the drop down, we have decimal number here. Now, because this is quantity, we don't expect it to have any decimal points. So we are going to change this to whole number. So I'm going to add this as a step. Then we have manufacturing price, and this is also formatted as a whole number. We have sale price, which is also formatted as a whole number. Then we have gross sales, which is also formatted as a decimal. So here with the unit sold and the sale price, when you multiply this and then the unit sold, this will give us the gross sales. Now we also have discount. So depending on the discount band, you are going to find the amount that was offered as a discount. Now, because with these rules, the discount band is none, you're not going to see anything here under the discount. But when you click on the drop down, you find some amount here. So this is the amount of discount offered for each of the transactions. Then we also have the sales amount. So here we are looking at the gross sales, which has been adjusted for the discount. So if you take a look at the first few rows that we have here, you see that the sales is the same as the gross sales because here no discount was offered on the transaction. But when I filter this, let's say I pick 18.41. You see that this is the gross sale and this is the discount. And then with the sales, we deducted the discount from the gross sales. And that's what we have here. Now I'm going to clear the filter. Then we also have cost of goods sold. So here we are looking at the cost associated with the sales that we made. Then we have the profit. So here we are deducting the cost of goods sold from the sales amount. So here, instead of it being sales, let's make this net sales. And press enter. Then we have the profit here. Then we have the date of the transaction. We also have the month number, the month name, and then the year of the transaction. So this is the data that we are going to work with in this guided project. Now, having inspected each of the columns, we don't have any data cleaning issues that we need to address. So what we are going to do is to load the data into Power BI. So on the home tab, I'll go to close and apply and this will load the data into Power BI. So in the next video, we are going to look at data modeling and how we can analyze the data.